Hello everybody, today I will be making tacos dorados for dinner and I'm gonna make them a potatoes. So over here I have eight potatoes that I already boil, one cup of Chihuahua cheese, one quarter of an onion and I cut it in pieces, two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of consomme de pollo, and two garlics cut in pieces too, one teaspoon of sazon with azafran, this is the brand that I'm gonna be using, and I have my tortillas over here. I'm going to be using vegetable oil. And for topping, I already shredded um, cabbage and carrots. And I cut um, radish in pieces like this. I have the red onion. And I have fresh cheese over here. And I have cream over here. It's sour cream for the topping. And for my green salsa, I'm going to be using um, one one big zucchini and seven tomatillos green tomatillos three garlics three jalapenos and one quarter of an onion and the cilantro and one teaspoon of salt okay so i'm going to start by preparing the potatoes okay we're going to peel all the potatoes Okay, I'm done with this, so I'm going to put it to the side. Okay, so now over here I'm going to put the butter to melt. Okay, now I'm going to put the onion in here. And the garlic. Let it cook for a little bit, probably like three or four minutes. It's already soft. So we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna put it in, in the potatoes. It's nice and warm. And we're gonna mix it here. Okay, and, and now we're going to put the consomme de pollo. And I forgot to tell you to uh, put a, a teaspoon of um, cumin right there. And the sazon with azafran. And we're going to use one teaspoon, okay? Right there. Now cheese in here. And we're gonna mix all the ingredients in here real good, okay? Okay, and it looks like this. I end up using my hand so I can mix it very well. Remember to wash your hands all the time when you're cooking because we're always touching the food. So as you can see, it looks like this. Okay, so I'm done with the potatoes, so I'm just going to put it to the side. And I'm going to start with the green sauce. So I'm going to start by cutting all the ingredients. I'm going to be cutting this right here. And we're going to do our jalapenos. Just going to cut them in half. Okay, so now we're going to start the salsa. Okay, so now I'm going to put probably like three tablespoons of um, olive oil here. You can use any kind of oil you want. Okay, now we can put our vegetables in there. Let's 
one is already done as you can see this one too let's see this one let's take the garlics out too and the tomatillos and to the side a little longer on this side As you can see, our tomatillos changed color already. So these ones are done. And if you don't want to fry the peppers and the zucchini, you can also, you know, do it with water. You just boil them, everything together, and just put it in the blender. But I think it tastes better when, uh, when we fry it like this. green sauce we're just gonna wait until the end to put it on the blender so it can start getting cold okay we start by warming up the tortillas because if we don't do this um when we start putting the potato between the tortilla uh, the tortilla is gonna break Okay, so now I'm going to start making the tacos. Like you can see, I already got my warm tortillas over here, and I have my potato here. And always taste it for salt. If you want it more salty, you can always put more salt. Salt is on your taste. So I already make one. I'm going to put it to the side. So I always make a couple first, and then I start frying them. like this okay so i have my hot oil over here so i'm gonna start frying my tacos so i'm gonna put one first and see if the oil is hot or cold it's still cold so we're gonna give it give it a little more time okay Okay, now we can try it again and see. Yeah, I think it's done. Okay, I'm going to turn them around. And you can make them as crispy as you want. And some people put a um, toothpick, that way the taco can hold. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Okay, I think they're done. As you can see, golden brown. And real crispy. As you can see, you fold it like this. And you close it with the toothpick over here. Like this, that way it doesn't open. As you can see. Okay, let's turn them over to the other side. This ones I think they're done and always be careful that you don't burn yourself okay now I'm gonna remove all this from my oil I'm gonna clean it up so I can keep on frying but like I tell you if you put a toothpick on your taco this not gonna happen but I don't like doing it so just clean it up and keep on going. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm done frying my tacos. So I'm going to start by doing the, the green sauce. Okay, so now I'm going to put the cilantro in. Get the bottom out. Like that. Okay, now put it in here. And we're going to put everything that we fry. The onion, the zucchini, the garlics, and the tomatillo verdes. We're going to put everything in here. And for this sauce, we're not going to need any water. We're going to be using olive oil. And it's going to be the extra virgin. So, my salt. And I'm going to be using one-fourth of a cup of olive oil right here. I'm going to put it there. And uh, this is the one that I'm using. But you can use any kind you want. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the blender. Oh, this is a bullet. Okay, right here I'm going to taste it for salt. That's good. Oil oh, when I fry the, the peppers and the onions and everything. So I'm going to put it here too, okay? And I'm, it's going to become real creamy. You see how creamy it looks? Okay. So our sauce is ready. Okay, these are all the tacos I end up making. And uh, at this time, it's time to take off the toothpick. So you just remove them to the side. And this is my green sauce. So we're going to start preparing a plate. Okay, I'm going to show you how we eat them. I always open it like this. And we put the cabbage in here. Little onion. Pieces. And I put a little carrot, but uh, if you don't want any carrots, it's your choice. Radish. And we put cream, apple drops, cheese. And the green sauce on top. This is the way I eat them. And uh, you can always put the stuffing on top of the tacos too. So you put all the ones that you're going to eat. If it's three or four, you put them in here. this on top onion we'll put cream a little green sauce on top and cheese Okay, and this is how it looks. And I end up making like uh, more than 20 with eight potatoes. So it depends on the size of the potato. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. Like and subscribe.